So what are the conditions today in the market for us to implement our change-based investment process? So what are those conditions? As a reminder, I see a lot of familiar faces, but for the new people, there's only two things that really drive a stock or the market in general, and that's earnings, what's a company making, and then price to earnings, what's the valuation you'll put on it? So let's talk about valuation right now. The bad news is the the gift of valuation is not under the Christmas tree anymore. We just, valuations are tapped out. So we're not expecting valuation to be a big driver going forward. How do we get to this? So this is our famous rule of 20. A lot of you have seen this, but as a reminder, this simply takes 20 minus the 10 year treasury. We just mentioned it's let's say two and a half. So 20 minus two and a half, the stock market should be at about 17 and a half times, which is pretty much where it is today. And if you look back, this goes back to 1980, rates were 10%. If we could get you 10% risk-free bonds right now, people would load into that. We're not gonna pay a lot for stocks. And they weren't, they're paying 10 times. As rates went down, valuations went up. We obviously had the tech bubble, that it. But over the last nine years, really 10 years, the blue line, which is what the market has been, which was trading at 10 times in 09. The red line is what it should have been. So it should have been trading it. We had this present under the tree for eight years, nine years of low valuations. Well now, unfortunately, those we call them alligator jaws, they have closed. So we're going to, that's why we look at going forward, we do not expect much from valuation. In fact, we're pricing in two and a half percent. If 3% happens, we could have a little headwind after this massive tailwind. So valuation, pretty flat. Earnings. Earnings over the last several years have been flat. So prior to the last five weeks, the stock market was pretty flat over two years. So valuation was not much of a tailwind, and earnings have been fairly flat. The good news for the earnings standpoint is it looks like things are starting to pick up. And this is even prior to the election. So one of the biggest negatives on earnings for the last couple of years, we've had negative revenue growth. Anybody that's been in the oil patch or industrial production, there's been a lot of headwinds with their, the dollar, et cetera. We're actually seeing improvement. We're gonna have positive revenue growth for the first time in six quarters. So in aggregate, we're seeing revenue growth starting to come back, earnings up modestly. So with that backdrop, we're kind of in the same camp of the four to 6% headline news that are out there. 